Hey folks, Mr Mitchell here, how's it going? In this video we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving potential difference and electric field strength in a uniform field. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says to calculate the electric field strength between two parallel plates which are 0.1 metres apart. The potential applied to the upper plate is 600 volts and on the lower plate is 150 volts. So we're simply trying to find the electric field strength E here. We know that the potential in this case is not going to be as simple as just 600 because it's actually the difference, remember, between the upper and lower plate voltages. So we've got 600 minus 150, which gives us a potential difference of 450 volts. And the distance D between them is 0.1 meters. So writing down our equation relating E, V and D, we get V equals ED, and rearranging for E, we get E equals V divided by D, and substituting in the numbers, we get 450 divided by 0 0.1, which gives us a final answer of 4,500 volts per metre. You could also get away with stating your units as newtons per coulomb. Question 2 says that two metal plates are 10 centimetres apart with a potential difference of 5 kilovolts between them. Part A says to sketch this situation. Well, your sketch might look something like this. It doesn't matter which way around you have the positive and negative plates, as long as you show the field lines going from positive to negative. And we can label some things on our diagram here. So we've got the distance here being 10 centimetres, and the voltage or potential difference being 5,000 volts. Part B says to calculate the force which acts on an electron released from the negatively charged plate. Well, the force will be due to the electric field, so we can use our equation relating force F and electric field strength E. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find F, we know that Q is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs for an electron, and the electric field strength is something we also don't know. But we do know the potential difference of 5000 volts, and the distance D between the plates of 10 centimetres or 0.1 metres. So writing down our equation, we have F equals QE, and we can then rewrite this as F equals Q V over D, since V equals ED, and therefore E is equal to V divided by D. So we're just replacing this E with V over D, and we can now substitute in our numbers to find what F is. So we get 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 times 5,000 divided by 0 0.1, which gives us a final answer of 8 times 10 to the minus 15 newtons to the right. So remember our direction is needed because force is a vector. Part C says to calculate the acceleration of the electron. Well, we're trying to find the acceleration A, we know that the force F is 8 times 10 to the minus 15 newtons from part B, and the mass of the electron is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And you'll find that value on the data sheet. We can now use Newton's second law to find what the acceleration A is. So we have F equals MA. Rearranging for A though gives us A equals F over M. And substituting in the numbers gives us 8 times 10 to the minus 15 divided by 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. Putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 8.8 .8 times 10 to the 15 meters per second squared to the right. Lastly, part D says, assuming the electron starts from rest on the negatively charged plate, how long would it take to reach the positively charged plate? Well, based on the diagram that I sketched in part A, our electron is moving to the right to get away from the negatively charged plate. And it's asking us how long it would take to get to the positively charged plate. So we're interested in the horizontal motion of the particle here. So we're going to write down SUVAT to try and work out the time. So we know that S, the displacement, is the distance between the plates, which is 0 0.1 meters. We know that the initial speed U is 0 meters per second because it starts from rest. We don't know what the final speed is. We now know the acceleration from part C, which is 8.8 .8 times 10 to the 15 meters per second squared. And lastly, the time is what we're trying to find, so I'll put a wee star next to that one. We now need to use an equation of motion that does not have V in it, so we can use S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Substituting in the numbers gives us 0 0.1 equals 0 times t plus a half times 8.85 times 10 to the 15 times t squared. So notice that this term here with the 0 times t will just disappear and we're left with t squared equals 0 0.2 divided by 8.8 .8 times 10 to the 15. So all I've done there is multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the half. And if you put that into your calculator, you'll get an answer 2.3 times 10 to the minus 17. However, that's t squared, not t. So to get t on its own, we need to square root both sides. So we get t equals 4.8 times 10 to the minus 9 seconds. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.